Oh, did Jay Z? <laughs> did you do any investigation? Oh, that's right. You couldn't. He funded it. <laughs> yes, you couldn't investigate the man that was paying to legitimize your very um irrelevant doctrine. So, so Jay, we're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go around the room a little bit. Maybe I'll ask questions. But. I, I want to doctors. Name, we're gonna name a person. Heathcliff Huxtable. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna That's where here. she got her degree from ABC. Oh, yeah. oh, All right. All right. Got to be more careful. Come on. So for validation for those fans that want to know your history in the music business. Yeah. I, I'm a, I'm a say, we're gonna say some names and I just want uh, you to quickly just tell us, you know, where you might have been with them in person, whether through you okay. know, and let's just start with who you're just talking about. Like a like a, a lightweight lie detector. Come like on. Like a lightweight lie detector. We just had Ray Kwan right. here, the chef. Um, you mentioned Wu Tang. Yes. Have you been in rooms with Wu Tang and when and where? Of How course I have. have. Please go ahead. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Ah. <sighs> yes, it's good. I've been in hotel rooms with them. I've been on tour buses with them. I've been backstage with them. I was there. I, I used to date the 62nd Assassin. You said it enough right there. Yeah. That was my boyfriend. I was 19, and he's about 52. Why they call him a 60, 60 second assassin? It was just sweet. I don't know. Yeah. It was literal. <laughs> you know, kind of like um C murder. <laughs> you kinda know, like. Kind of relevant. Kind of like. I'm just saying, you gotta listen to a nigga name. Right. Okay. Black thought. Okay. okay. So, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep buying going. prostitutes for thirteen-year-old boys is a little on the dark side. Oh. <laughs> you right. know, especially when the prostitute was an adult. Shame on you, Tariq. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, all right. You should right. you should have warned Jill. You should have told Jill to leave that alone. Or maybe you ain't leaving her alone. Y'all still fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, Jill was in part one, uh, but yeah, I, yeah. Gonna, Shout we're gonna, we're gonna out to that bitch. But, anyway, a uh, uh, free, free. Yeah, um, I do know free. When, how, where, what rooms? Uh, just friends. from back in the day. I mean, BET events. Uh, she hosted events that I was at. We were New York girls together. I was a Philly girl, but for real, for real, I spent more time in New York than I did at home. In the height of my career, I was always in Manhattan. We were always, you know, we were friends. Uh, big I remember the last night we got to hang out. It was me, her, Belial, and and Elder Barch. And she, you know, she was the MC and she hosted us that night. And we had a great time. Yeah. And y'all know you had mentioned why people don't mention free enough, I miss but her. we will bring free back. I we miss will bring free back. Her yeah, we will out back. here. We will bring her back. If AJ has a chance, free has even more chance. AJ got a chance because Freeze was stolen. I wish I could talk more about it. But the simple fact that she's not in broadcasting and her child is now grown, it's unfair. Um, and, and that's when I kind of got to lean into the, the Angie Martinez's. Because she is a female in broadcasting, a woman of color. She's also an artist. And um, happiest I ever saw her was with Nokio. And I don't think anyone ever really understood why they broke up. But really? Nokio did go to Diddy Parties. Nokia did go to Diddy parties. I know you spoke on this one, and but I just wanted to see if you go just a little more deeper with this person that you've been around, Cat Williams. Yeah. Can you tell us anything? Cause uh, anything else? Another story with him? I mean, it was nine months. It was fast. It was furious. It was amazing. I learned a lot. I loved writing songs with him. I didn't really get a chance to cook that much. We were always on the move. Like his schedule was really crazy. So when I was with him at the house, I was working with him. Right. 
Um, and cats always working. Uh, Jamie Foxx. I. What about Jamie? You've been in rooms. I know Jamie. Jamie. Uh, what's your what's your? Me and Jamie shared a manager, okay. Brian. Shout out Brian. Yes. Uh, yeah, somebody please put him on a milk cart. No one's seen him Whoa. since Jamie went into the hospital. Oh. I, I hope Brian's okay. Hope he didn't have a stroke. Does the Claudia Jordan thing stem from that? No, or? no, not really. That that's more about the transgender assistants that were constantly um, engaged to come and party with Jamie because everyone knows he likes transgender women. He went after my Gigi. Want to know when we met all all up together when they met my Gigi? Go ahead. At a party at Park. It was the second Easy. inauguration for the Obamas, and I was there as a guest at the party. Like I was at the first inauguration. And I brought Gigi with me. And Jamie had his eye on her. And Brian asked me if it was cool. And I said, everybody here is grown. Gigi was quite catnip. I mean, if you look at her, she's amazing. Um, but I never let her fake it. I never let her pretend to be a woman. But I always insisted that she behave like one. Um, the transgender girls that I took care of and I looked after who were in the business or worked with the business or clients held in the business, um, I always demanded that they think highly of themselves. Um, they had keys to my house. So on the nights where they couldn't go home and they didn't trick enough money, they didn't have to keep tricking, you know, come to the house. Food will be on the stove. Don't die tonight because a lot of them end up in dumpsters. Um, so yeah, you know, Jamie, Jamie done a lot. The naked basketball games um, that he hosted. I mean, everybody knew, and there's no point in me hiding it now because his fate has been sealed, whatever it may be. But everybody knew if you went to a party at Jamie's house that at midnight, the witching hour began. Um, and basically he would have a party and everybody would be in there. But at 12 o'clock, the women would start to take off their clothes and you would have to guess if you were with a cisgender woman or a transgender woman. So some of these dudes, they already been making out with these chicks. You know, they already been doing all kinds of stuff. And then the clothes come off and you figure out whether or not you got a chick or a chick with a dick. That was a standard. Or the night that another male R&B artist that I know, and I've already spoke about this. I'm, I'm not going to put you out there, but you know exactly who you are. You know you was there underneath that piano sucking Jamie's dick while he was playing fucking Mozart. And he taped it and I saw it. Now, I've already spoke about this on another channel, and I'm not going to say your name this time because you didn't sue me. So we already know what it is. But what I will say is, is this. Tonka trucks are Tonka trucks, not tanks. You got played with, and that's just what it is. Kelly Rowland. I mean, I only seen the sex tape and I, I seen a backstage at a couple of shows, but I mean, nobody ever paid attention to any of them. I just seen the sex tape. What? Stevie J. What about him? Of course I have. I, mean, he's I used to see him at daddy's house. I used to see him when he would come through Mecca and he was always too loud, too boisterous, too much. Um, the most time I would say bumping into him was when he was with Evelyn um, and he would come to Philly, but he had a baby mom in Philly too. Like he's a dirt bag. Like I just, I never tried to spend time with him. Uh, he's just, Chucky he's just... Thompson was my friend. Okay. Easy Mo B. 
what was was our our hip hop god, who later on in life became a friend, and I call him brother now. Um, but Stevie J, he's just a little pimp. Um, and he got all of the projects because he would do whatever you know Diddy wanted him to do. You know that the simple fact that Chucky Tamp. Thompson died, my friend, Chucky. I couldn't even post. His first wife reached out to me. And I, I just, I always felt like there was something wrong there. And then when Shoes started calling me, Shoes used to drive me, but he was also Diddy's personal driver when he would come to towns. He worked for Mark. And the last time I talked to Shoes, I, I don't know. I was very tightly connected to all of that bad boy shit. I just never fucked with it because I knew what that nigga was hitting for. I just... I hope you didn't do anything to Chucky. Fonsworth Bentley. Concubine. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. Concubine. So, all right, we'll leave it there. Um, what grown man walks around holding an umbrella for another man? That's, that's a question. That's a question. I mean... And Arguably, and considering now we that's a valet's job, that's some racist shit. It's racist. Joe did her 